Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. In this video, I'll show you how to deburr a hole that's not on a flat surface. Here's a part, and we have holes going through the part, but the surface is uh, angled. So it's not like we can go in there with a spot drill. So what we're gonna do is We're going to copy this part to another level. And we're going to do a fillet. With a radius of 100,000, way too big. We'll go 10 thou. Now that's too small. Let's go. Let's go 25. Now let's select the rest of these. Now, we're going to create a stock model click on model and then you can select the entire thing and we're going to use this for verify okay stock models made fillets are made now we're going to do actually the toolpath, what you guys came here for. So it's going to be a flow line. And you're just going to select the radiuses. And the tool we're going to use. Well, first, let's get through this. That looks good. Now, we're going to create a tool. Go ball end mill, and it's gonna be really small, so we can get in that radius. We'll go sixteenth overall length, two inches cutting length. Let's go three hundred. I'm gonna make this a little more realistic. Okay, so for speeds and feeds, I go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com. You can just select a material you're doing and it'll give you a range of service footage and um, chip load. So it looks like we got 9,167. We'll go 9,100. And so five fluters, so we'll go four and a half inches, which is about one tenth chip load. So, that's looking good. Now we'll go up to finish full line parameters, distance. We'll do a 1,000 step over. So it's going to move 1,000 every time it goes around that uh, fillet. So this will give it a really nice surface finish. Awesome.
So let's back plot it first. Sweet. See, the tool can go around that radius in a 3D motion, whereas like your spot drill can only go up and down. And of course, that's not going to leave any type of deburred edge on most of that hole. So the flow line and ball end mill will definitely work the best. So now that we checked in back plot and it looks okay, we are going to check it and verify. Please verify for everything. I highly recommend it. My computer's a little slow today, so bear with me. So we have to change one thing. We made the, uh, the stock to the model with the fillets, whereas we want the stock, the model without the fillets. We will change that real quick. We'll just go in our parameters, our stock model. And we will select the model without the fillets, because that's our starting stock. And we want to compare that to the model with the fillets. Okay, so we'll activate the one with the fillets. Perfect. And now, go back and verify Perfect, our starting stock has sharp edges. And now we're gonna let our simulation run and hopefully we will have nice round edges on those holes. Turn off the holder. Go to compare. Here you can add tolerances to your part, so you can go like plus or minus five, and the shading will be different for how far it is away from that tolerance. See it's yellow, so we have to add minus five in the green, because technically plus five is yellow and green. The minus five there, plus five there. Perfect. So everything's green because it's within tolerance, except those areas that need the sharp corners taken off. As you can see, it's working itself around that hole with a 1,000 step over, like we changed in our parameters. And my computer quite hasn't rendered it yet, but it looks like that radius is being perfectly put in by, the, by that ball end mill. So it's going to jump to the other side, do the same thing.
perfect. So it's done the rendering and it looks like those are some nice radiuses on all those holes. If we're pretending this is a steel part, I think we've all machined steel and there's been really nasty burrs. And if we ever delivered a part to a customer with those nasty burrs and they got cut, it'd be a huge problem. So if you have one part, you have plenty of time, and you want it to look perfect, this is a good way to do it. Remember, we went to solids and we went to fill it. We just clicked on that sharp edge, gave it a fillet, and went to toolpaths, and it's the flow line toolpath. And all you do is select that fillet. You'll have to create a, a tool, a ball end mill, or a bull nose that's small enough to get in there. But that's the basics of just deburring holes like intersecting odd surfaces. We'll do another video with a, a hole coming out the backside of a, a really weird surface just so we can you guys have another thing to look at. So that was a video. Uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you later.